Hello guys I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Age of Z Origins on PC, from now you can watch it on screen. It takes almost no time to simply download and install Age of Z Origins so that we can play the game on a Windows PC using our gamer keyboard if we want a mouse and big screen. So it's time to have fun, let's get to it. First of all my friends, to start we have to open our favorite web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, because I added a clickable link in the description of this video in the first pinned comment. We arrived on this page on the website of Usitility, where we get a detailed outline on how you can download and install Age of Z Origins on computer. We browse lower a little bit and click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we reach the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we will use to play Age of Z Origins on our PC. It is now obvious that we get some pros of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Age of Z Origins by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on that button. And the download takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to run the installer, so we need to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have said yes. I reduce the web browser to find the installer better. The installer is very easy to use. It contains two options, install and setup path. I am going to explain what setup path does indeed. We just simply click on it. And now we discover that we end up with here the path where in fact the emulator will be set up. If we wish to modify this directory we are required to click on this browse option. And now we opt for another folder and install the emulator specifically where we desire. I am going to keep it by default. I simply click on back. So I pick install. Voila! The install begins and it will proceed with the download of these megabytes which are visible on that computer screen. After you save it on your machine, it might possibly be a little bit more or less MB. The data transfer speed may go faster or slower, subject to your type of access to the web and depending on the performance of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they're running rather fast. The download is done, so right now it proceeds with the installation phase. The installation will need more or less time primarily based on the power of your computer or laptop, the more powerful it's actually, the faster the installation time and or vice versa. If we join the download and installation step it may take a very long time, so show patience. It has by now completely finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will advance to the right so when it gets to the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the very first time. The fact is the emulator is already started, here it is for the first time. Before we carry on, as you understand, it has made two icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the only one we are focused on. When we would like to start Age of Z Origins on our laptop or computer, we double-click on this particular icon and consequently run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon isn't related to multiplayer or anything like that. The fact is, it is an software icon that we may very likely never utilize. Why don't we make the following step, which is a must, and that is to access the Google Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. Right here we have to sign in. At this time the moment we're here, we must accomplish the following step that is absolutely mandatory. Therefore we just click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get stuck in, checking info, and this does not progress. If that's the case, you should attempt to log in in after a few hours and it'll almost certainly be resolved. At this moment we shall insert our username and password. The email must be a Gmail email address and its associated password. For instance you could use the exact same email you're using right now in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to provide my data and I'll go back when I have completed it. That's all, information typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We can approve them all simply by pressing, I agree. Following, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You can leave it checked and it will produce a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play Store is started automatically and automatically. To install the app game, we need to visit the Android emulator desktop by double-clicking on that app icon marked green colored. Today that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator, we see that we now have here the install video game button. We click or double-click on that button. Right here we access to the game app. So let's click here on the install button that I am displaying now in green color. Therefore it will initiate the software installation. Now it will install the video game, it will take a bit of time or it may just be extremely fast. It again all is subject to on our internet access. It's already completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this particular button that I am highlighting in green, in order to run Age of Z Origins for the first time. 
Let me press on that My Games option above. We're at present on the emulator desktop, and we're going to simply click on this brand new Age of Z Origins app icon which was generated. This Android game is started for the first time. There we have it, I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of the emulator. It is here, we have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this way we don't rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can turn on the big screen, for which we have two choices. That is simply the first one, we click on this icon that I am indeed identifying in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we aspire to have fun with the game in full screen, we click this app icon. And we'd at present be enjoying the game in full screen mode. To get out of the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we might now be in normal screen mode. At this moment I am ready to demonstrate to you the keyboard mapping which is actually very exciting. This step we may be in a position to utilize the game application far more easily. The first point is to click on this app icon. It's now time to get the necessary configurations. I will leave the standard configuration, though if you choose to adjust it, you may very well do this without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Sometimes it happens that the emulator is launched in the incorrect language, as an example, in Mandarin. And therefore to set it up in the proper language we go here to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of other settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We could opt for the language we prefer, German, Japanese, and so on. When the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, along with the game, the next time we launch it, will of course be in the opted for language. At present, you will find another information that we must take into account, and it is that we will receive an email telling that a different machine has been associated with our Google account. It will likely check with us if we are the individuals who have connected that device. Of course, we shouldn't get worried, considering the fact that emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. In order to identify which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, choice. And here we see that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that tutorial. I hope you liked it, especially that you found it interesting. In that case, allow it a great thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, concerns or suggestions, let them in the comment box down below. You could even leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams occasionally, you have it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click on any of the training videos which are usually appearing on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the next video tutorials. Bye.